How surprised were you when the Colt decided to leave the team? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I think, you know, more or less we'll leave the, the statement and the release kind of to, to speak and stand on its own. Uh, I thought that he handled things uh, well in that regard. And like, like we said in the statement, you know, we'll continue to support him uh, in any way we can. Um, I don't really want to get into particulars. Again, it was a very uh, productive conversation. I don't know what you know, I don't know what the right word is. It was very you know, it's not a it's not there's no like like he said and like you said, there's no this is not a you know, ill will situation in any way, shape or form. In any way, shape or form. And we like I said yesterday we do wish him luck and we're gonna do whatever we can to, to support him. At the team handle games. Um we had a great practice, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, we didn't, we didn't talk about anything in that regard, um, but we had a, a really good, a really good practice today. Mark, you had a lot of. He was suspended for the game Saturday. For what? For violation of team rules. For the circumstances. I'm sorry. That's better than circumstances. Okay. <laughs> I know you guys have preached next man up on several different occasions, but is there something to be said about the type of talent that he is and, and not having that talent? On the roster. Again, I think we've moved on. You know, and we, we, we've turned the page. And I would love to, you know, we can talk about Washington or, or our preparations, but, you know, it's it's not about any single one of us, myself included. How disappointing is it for you, though, as opposed to seeing him and just walk away from the program, regardless of who it is? I don't, again, I don't, I think we're getting into every, every situation is so individualized. Um, that, you know, if he felt this was best for him, that's okay. You know, we talked about it, we moved on, and, and again, we wish him absolutely nothing but the best, and he wished us nothing but the best. And that's not, there's no smoking gun, so to speak. Washington. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> um, Washington's playing really well. Um, you know, I thought they uh, obviously had a couple of the, the, the big special teams plays uh, that, that, that really affected the game. Obviously, the opening kickoff was a huge uh, momentum creator. Um, but after that, uh, you know, defensively, they're playing fast. They're playing a lot differently than they have in the past. Um, you know, we've, we've known these defenses and, and Justin Wilcox and, and those guys for a long time. They're, they're, they're different than they've been before, like it, whether it's been Cal or Tennessee or Boise. Um, and then offensively, they're, they're kind of hitting on all cylinders and, and played you know, played a really good stuff. team, very, very tough. You grew up in Oregon, right? Mm -hmm. Where were you when you Oh, gosh. What's K? What year was that? 94. 94. I was in college. I was probably throwing the reception simultaneously. <laughs> I was in the same position as Hewitt, probably. Mark, did, was you, there, did you have a reaction, though, when you saw the highlights or when you saw... Oh, yeah. I mean, that was, that was a huge. Obviously, uh, you know, that's kind of one of those iconic plays in... in Oregon lore and, and um, yeah, I mean, it was a, a huge program changer, you know, at, at the time. Um, and, and I think one of the things that, that catapulted Oregon to, to be, you know, Oregon football, so to speak. So does a rivalry have a little, uh, Chip always brushed rivalries off. Does it, does it have more meaning to you? Well, I think in, in terms of how we prepare, no. Um, in terms of, you know, and again, this isn't, a me versus Chip thing, but growing up here, sure, I know what that means. You know, I know what the Oregon State rivalry means. I know what the Washington rivalry means. Um, I was sitting in the stands, you know, in the, in the olden days when it was the, the Washington fans kind of were certainly vocally outnumbered the Oregon fans and singing tequila and all those kind of things. But, but uh, yeah, in terms of preparation, uh, we didn't do, you know, we don't do one thing differently uh, for, for Team A or Team B.